before we proceed in diagnosing a patient, before we confirm a diagnosis, we always have to do laboratory investigations and instrumental investigations. But today we will be talking about the laboratory investigations, that is blood analysis, uh, urine analysis, putum analysis, and also we will be talking about hemostatic um, disorders, how to identify it. We also have to know how to present the laboratory investigations to our patients. So in the first part of this video is we will be seeing uh, from the tetanus case, how we present or how we explain to the patient's uh, relative what test we are going to do and what's the reason for and how, what kind of um, results that will be giving, given up and we will compare it, compare it with the normal results. Hello sir. Hello. So what is happening to you now? What are the treatments? Uh, right now we are going to run some tests and examinations. Uh, right now we can only we, we suspect that uh, he is having infection due to tetanus because of the wound in the right hand. So what are the tests are you going to perform on my brother? Uh, we will be doing a blood test to check if there is any infection in the blood and for blood group in case if she, he has to go for any surgery and then uh, glucose level. The main points in blood analysis is we see if the patient is anemic or not, if there is leukocytosis and the composition of leukocytosis. Then we also see if there's any specific markers to indicate any specific pathology. Example, in heart disease, we'll be able to see there'll be an increase in C-reactive protein. There'll be presence of troponin I and troponin T. Not only that, we also see if there's presence of glucose in the blood, if there's increase in LDL, VLDL, or HDL, and if there is an electrolyte disbalance. Uh, we'll be doing a urine test to check the kidney functioning and for the presence of glucose. Then, okay. For patients that are conscious, we ask them to usually urinate in a cup to perform the urine analysis. For patients that are unconscious, as you have seen in the previous video, we will um, obtain the urine through a catheter. In urine analysis, there is three parts that we take into account physical character where we check the volume the color the odor and specific gravity then microscopical sediments that are present they are usually found they can be found are uh, red blood cells white blood cells uh, protein cast crystals or epithelial cells then we also check for the ph level glucose protein ketone bodies nitrate urobilinogen bilirubin and presence of blood in urine analysis of a normal person you won't be able to see any detection of any abnormal presence. That means everything is normal. But in a pathological state, a patient example in has, that has lower UTI problem, you will be able to see pink, red or brown color urine. You will be able to smell a strong odor, has cloudy turbidity. You will be able to detect leukocytosis. You'll, there'll be a uh, presence of red blood cells, transitional epithelial cells, and there will be also a few of hyaline cast as well. For sputum analysis, we ask the patient to take a very deep breath and hold the air for 5 seconds. Then slowly breathe out, take another deep breath and cough hard until the sputum comes out in the mouth and spit it into a plastic cup. For patients that are admitted into the hospital or has difficulty spitting out sputum, the patient is set into a fowler's position in the bed Sodium chloride nebulizer is given to the patient to loosen up the secretions. Then the patient is asked to take deep breaths through the nose and then given out through the mouth and spit out the sputum into a container for cross-examination. In sputum analysis, we concentrate into the color of the sputum, the characteristic of the sputum, the consistency of the sputum and the smell of the sputum. Mucoid-based sputum are usually caused by viral infection. Purulent sputum are caused by chronic bronchitis or bacterial infections. Yellow-green colored sputum are caused by bron chronic bronchitis. Rough colored sputum are pneumonal, pneumo pneumonia type of diseases. Pink or blood-tinged sputum are usually caused by staphylococcal pneumonia. 
or pink or frothy type of sputum are usually caused by pulmonary edema. Profuse or colorless type of sputum are caused by carcinomas and bloody type of sputum are usually caused by tuberculosis or tumor.